Our recipient of the Cornerstone Award tonight is a native of Goldsboro, who with the exception of his time away from school and in the United States Army, has resided in Goldsboro for his entire life. Edward Brownwood Borden was born in 1934 and grew up living in the F.K. Borden House on George Street, which was constructed by his grandfather. He attended the Goldsboro Public Schools before heading off to high school at Woodbury Forest School in Virginia. He attended the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill from 1952 until 1956, graduating from there with a degree in business administration. He served in the U.S. Army until 1958 when he returned to work at the company also begun by his grandfather, the Borden Manufacturing Company. I'm very pleased to have the pleasure of saying a few words about my friend Ed Borden. I've known Ed uh, for over 50 years. I represented his company, the Borden Manufacturing Company, which he served as president. We've had a number of social engagements together. And uh, he is, I think, one of the finest public-spirited business people in our community. He has always responded to any call that has come his way and has always carried out those duties and responsibilities. We're proud of him as a citizen, and I'm proud to say that he's a friend of mine. Ed worked in various capacities at Borden Manufacturing during his career there and became president and CEO of the company in 1970, a position he would hold until his retirement in 1997. The company employed thousands of Wayne County residents during Ed's tenure, often with several generations of family members working for the firm. Ed always prided himself on creating a family atmosphere at Borden Manufacturing, and employees often expressed their pride at being part of his workplace family. I'm real glad that this is being done in a boardroom. Ed has served on more boards than anyone I know, both locally and statewide. Whether it's a hospital board or a bank board or a church board or civic, charitable board, he's done them all. When I think of a good board member, I've always felt like there were two things required, to be knowledgeable about the business and to support management. And Ed does both of these. Not only does he do this well, but one of his best attributes, in my opinion, is his fine sense of humor and his sharp wit. From working with a board just about all my life, I know these are strong qualities to have. It does good every now and then to be able to laugh around a boardroom table and to have somebody with a sharp wit. And Ed certainly does this either as chairman or as member of the board. There is only one thing that I question about this Cornerstone Award, and that's going to a Carolina person. And as long as it has to be somebody that's a Carolina fan, I don't know of anybody that is more deserving than Ed. Congratulations, Ed. Ed has always been willing to give of his time and talents in service, whether it's to his employees, his family, his community, his church, or numerous professional organizations. He has served the city of Goldsboro, Wayne County, and the state of North Carolina in a variety of ways. He has been a director on numerous boards in the textile industry, as well as the business community. Not only has he been an active board member to a great number of businesses and organizations, but has held the title of chairman or president for a large percentage of these organizations. Ed Borden came to see us at Wages about 10 or 12 years ago and volunteered to deliver Meals on Wheels. He is such a kind, generous man. Um, we, we are crazy about him and our, our recipients love Mr. Borden. He is so willing to go on any of our routes um, and lots of our people have have considered him a friend. We certainly appreciate Mr. Borden. He is um, He's been a great friend to us. He uh, brightens our day, and I know he brightens the day of the seniors who he delivers when he delivers their meal. Uh, congratulations, Mr. Borden. We thank the world of you. This is a very well-deserved honor. Ed has been a longtime supporter of the educational institutions from which he graduated. He has been a lifelong member of the St. Stephen's Episcopal Church in Goldsboro, 
and has served as both junior and senior warden there. He and his wife, Mary Martin, were part of the group that had the vision to start a family YMCA in our community, and through their efforts, saw this through to reality. Since coming to Goldsboro in 2001 as rector of St. Stephen's Parish, I've had the privilege of getting to know a great many real characters in this community. And one of my favorites on that list of characters is Mr. Ed Borden. He has proven himself again and again to be a stalwart supporter of the mission and ministry of our parish and has been involved in vigorous ways for the years that I've known him in supporting various community projects. And I know many people here know him better and longer than I have, but I will always have wonderful memories of, of the fantastic friendship that is ours. I'm, I'm encouraged that he is receiving the recognition of, that is well his due from the Chamber of Commerce in this community. Good evening, Ed. It is certainly an honor for me to be here tonight to participate in this uh, prestigious award that you are winning for 2012, the Cornerstone Award given by the Wayne County Chamber of Commerce. Ed is extremely calm under all circumstances, which I'm still trying to uh, learn that, Ed. Uh, he's very humble. He's very dignified. He's a good listener. He's a great encourager. He has an ability to uh, get people to be loyal to his visions and the projects that he's working on. The Family Y back in the 70s was just getting some discussion and trying to get off the ground. It was Ed Borden and a group of other folks who participated in that and got it going. And I would dare say that the Family Y that we have today is certainly one of the best in the state, if not the Southeast. Mm -hmm. Finally, Ed, let me just say that uh, in late 1996, 97, I was the chairman of the Chamber of Commerce here in Wayne County. One of the projects that we uh, started that year was the Cornerstone Award. I can't think of a more deserving recipient uh, all these years later who meets the criteria of that, uh, that prestigious award. Congratulations, Ed. A few of Ed's many recognitions over the years include the Goldsboro JC's Distinguished Service Award, the Boy Scouts Tuscarora Council Distinguished Citizen Award, Woodbury Forest School Distinguished Service Award, Wayne County Industrialist of the Year, and Eastern North Carolina Industrialist of the Year. I'm Bill Bryan, the president of Mount Isle Pickle Company. I've had the pleasure of knowing Ed Borden for many years as a respected businessman, a community leader, and a sportsman at Camp Bryan. I got to know Ed best in 1992 when he joined the board of directors of the Mount Isle Pickle Company, where Ed served as a director for 14 years, including four years as chairman of our board. Ed Borden is an outstanding business leader, but I think Ed is an even better person. He strengthened the foundation of the Mount Olive Pickle Company, and he truly has been a cornerstone of Wayne County and beyond. I'd like to join with my fellow chamber members in congratulating Ed on a recognition well-deserved, and also Mary Martin, who I know has been a cornerstone for the family and for Ed throughout his many endeavors. Ed has been chairman of the Wayne County Community Memorial Association Board of Directors for several years. Since the Wayne County Memorial Community Building was destroyed by fire in May of 2004, he has overseen the thoughtful and well-planned restoration efforts at the former building site, which culminated in the dedication of the new Wayne County Veterans Memorial on November the 11th of this past year. As Ed's tireless work on this project was unveiled just two months ago, this is a particularly appropriate year for him to be presented with the Cornerstone Award. I'm John Lewis, and I'm honored to be asked to speak a few words about Ed Borden, my longtime friend. I'd like to speak somewhat about the experiences I've had with Ed as a trustee for the Wayne County Veteran, Veterans Memorial. That uh, process began in 2004 after the fire in 2003. Ed's the leader of our trustee board. As our leader, Ed has been extremely steady and patient with us process started in 2004. It picked up speed tremendously in 06 and up to the uh, dedication of the site on Veterans Day in November of 2011. Uh, during all that time, Ed uh, put in more hours than any of us, without a doubt. He um, visited many sites that were had memorials brought back some excellent information that we've incorporated into the site here in Goldsboro. 
the, the dedication and the sacrifice that Ed made can only be truly attested to by his wife, Mary Martin. And Mary Martin, thank you for letting us have him for these few years to plan this, this process and this project. We appreciate it. You know, the Veterans Memorial was truly a labor of love for Ed Borden. And it's reflected in the site. Uh, Ed, congratulations. We appreciate everything you've done for Wayne County and Goldsboro and look forward to having you to work with on other things in the future. Thank you, Ed. Congratulations. Ed is married to the former Mary Martin Williamson, and they are the parents of three sons and one daughter, as well as grandparents to eight grandchildren. When Ed is not busy with meetings for business or community, Ed enjoys fishing, hunting, traveling, and dining. The nomination that was submitted on Ed's behalf for the Cornerstone Award, after outlining all of his various achievements, reads as follows. Most importantly to me, he has been a loving and caring husband, father, father-in-law, and grandfather for as long as I've had the pleasure of knowing him. I truly feel that Ed Borden is the epitome of what this award represents. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2012 Wayne County Chamber of Commerce Cornerstone Award recipient, Ed Borden.